Hi everybody and welcome back to Daisy and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Vanilla++ Admin to spawn in structures on your live PC community server or a live PC local server you could do it for that as well and the big advantage of that is that you can be on the server that you and your fellow survivors are playing on um, and then add in structures without having to exit Daisy fire up daisy with something like the daisy editor mod create a .dz file export to a json or an init.c uh, upload that to your server add it to your cfg gameplay.json or add it to your init.c and then restart your server it takes out those steps by literally allowing you to, to spawn stuff in live create a file which vanilla plus plus deals with and then when you restart the server those structures will then spawn in automatically so for example here's here's a couple of just little tents i've put up in the northeast airfield on my test server uh, this is a nitrado server just to give you kind of an example and i guess if i show you how it works that's probably um, probably the best way now um, obviously you'll want to subscribe to vpp admin and have it installed correctly so in the description below this video i'll put a link to vpp admin I'll put a link to my uh, beginner's guide to how to install it on a remote or a local server. I'm also going to link to a couple of interesting channels. John Marshall has got some interesting tutorials about VPP. And also uh, Wonderland78. I'll uh, link to his video as well, um, because which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Gave me some ideas. Now, some of these guys are dealing with older versions of VPP, but the ideas are still the same. So in VPP, first thing I'm going to do, just go into free cam mode. So I'm going to press backspace. Um, sorry, not back. Is it backspace? Sorry, first I'm going to turn VPP on by pressing end. Now I'm going to press backspace, so I'm going to free cam mode. So there we go. So we're in, we're in free cam mode, so that's good. And then what I want to do is I want to add some military tents to this sort of area. So I'm going to press home to bring up the menu for VPP. I'm just going to go into the object builder and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new building set now the way that it works is that a building set is is a separate file think of it as a separate um, custom JSON if you're familiar with those um, that you would create in something like Daisy editor of structures with where they go on the map the coordinates their orientation roll pitch your that sort of stuff and you can have numerous different building sets with which have numerous different structures inside them so rather than just having one massive file with everything in you're probably better off having different ones so let's create a new building set um, and we can put the name in here so let's call this NEAF um, tents now it says tick set active so what that means is that these our objects will spawn in when the server restarts and if you export the raw I'll show you where that goes but that um, enables you to kind of back up what you're doing I guess you you could then take that probably to a different server or something but we're just gonna go with that so we say okay and that is now created this new building set now if you want to add things to this building set we need to just click tick here and it just says look just remember that if you change to a building set it won't say what you've done before so we're going to say yes because we haven't done anything else so now what we can do is up here we can say we can search for say tents here we go land mill tent big and we'll have snap to train on if i enable preview you can then if an item has a preview it will pop up the problem with the item preview i'm going to get rid of it is sometimes it can be a little bit um, buggy and this goes for, for lots of different things so let's just select that let's double click there and there we go we have our tent so now I can sort of left click move it around if I press alt we can go up and down and if I press shift and move my mouse and click left click it will turn around so let's say we want to put it up here uh, somewhere like there let's press alt it's generally just pop it there and we could double click it and then you've got all the details there but you don't want to um, turn it around like I just did let's go back in let's take that one let's get it just where we want it let's turn it around like so let's come up a little bit press alt over there there we go so let's put that one there 
Uh, let's get another one. Let's put this one here. Swing her around. Something like that. Move her to about there. So now we want to go back a little bit, don't we? Let's put that tent right there. Okay. So we've placed our two tents. And what we can do is now we can now save these edits. Okay. Updated building set. Northeast airfield tents to new get new name and the AFF tents. Okay, so what's going to happen is that when we restart the server, these objects will then appear. Um, and if I kind of show you where it actually uh, saves this stuff, so if we go into my FTP program on the right here, this is um, my re remote server, uh, my remote, remote uh, Nitrado server. So this is the uh, Daisy standalone. Here we've got all the mods, and if you scroll down, you'll find your config folder. Now it might be called profiles, it might be called settings. It can have lots of different names, but inside it, you'll find folders related to the mods that you have installed on that server, because this is where generally where mods save the information they need access to. So if we scroll down and we go to VP plus admin tools, and we double click into there, you'll see we've got configurable plugins. If we double click into there. So we've got building set manager. We double click into there, and there we have our two building sets: Northeast Airfield, Northeast Airfield Tents VPP. Now you can open these up, but it's it, it's not something you can really edit in a text editor. Um, but these are the files that VPP refers to when there's a server restart, so it knows to uh, spawn in these structures, um, and it's as simple as that. Now, as far as I can tell. It's just structures. You can't spawn in objects like you could with a custom JSON um, using Daisy Editor. It's also a little bit finicky as well. Um, again, I'm no expert, but when we're in this mode, for example, um, you oh, oh, there we go, spacebar, we can have a look around. Oh, that's good. So you press spacebar, we can then move around and check things. Press spacebar, oh, that's better. Um, but um, you need to be careful. You need to have a logical workflow in terms of adding things to specific building sets, remembering to save um, before you go on uh, and change stuff. And obviously nothing is permanent, uh, nothing will be there until you do a server restart and those things will then uh, respawn. But what is very, very cool about this, which which I really like, let's go back, I love that animation when you go from free cam to uh, not free cam, is the fact that you can do all this on the server that you're on rather than having to come out of that server, fire up da uh, Daisy Editor Mod, um, create a file, export it, upload it, refer to it, all that sort of stuff. It's all handled in game, which I think is very, very, very powerful. Because it means, you know, you could be running along and you might find a particular area, maybe even an area like that over there, and think, oh yeah, this could really do with a, with a few more barrels or a little bit more furniture around. And then you can just add that in as the, as the server mod, as the server admin, sorry very 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 powerful so big big thanks have to go out have to go out to the one for creating this uh, VPP admin tools um, I never realized it was so powerful I just used to use it to find loot <laughs> and fix things and uh, big big thanks have to go out to um, John Marshall for his videos and Wonderland 78 for his videos as well because they helped me out when I was uh, trying to figure out some of the basics so if you found this video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.